Galactic Star Cruiser merch is here. I've got some of the costumes today. We're going to be taking a look at the Bail Organa Security Aid shirt and jacket. This is the most expensive set for men to costume with if you're going to buy anything for the Star Cruiser from Shop Disney. This was 150 bucks. This shirt was 70 bucks. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and today we're looking at the Bail Organa Security Aid shirt and jacket from the Galactic Star Cruiser line of costumes that Disney and Star Wars are putting out. Now, did you notice what I said there? This is the Bail Organa Security Aid. This is not something Bail Organa wore in any of the Star Wars movies. And I'm gonna be honest, it said that in the description. It said that in the title the whole time on Shop Disney. But I failed to notice it until just the other day. I was like, wait a minute. I was looking up, I was looking for pictures of Bail Organa to find out when it was that he wore this. And I was like, it's not what he wore. But then I typed in the whole thing, security aid, and I found a picture of this dude who is clearly wearing exactly this shirt and this jacket. Well, sort of exactly. There's some details in the movie photo that are not on these from Disney. But we're going to find out if I like them. How do I feel about them? Because they are quite expensive. A combo of about $220 before tax is what the shirt and jacket run. So first things first, I do have the shirt. And you'll notice that, look at that silky, silky lining on the inside. It is a very, it's like suit jacket lining. If you have a really nice suit jacket that's lined, that's what the inside feels like. It is really nice. For 70 bucks, okay, I get it. Um, it is kind of weird because the back has this zipper like it zips up the back and you'll notice it's not like a normal collar it's kind of a funky collar and you have these fake leather circles that go across the front um, the actual material itself it is mostly cotton it does feel kind of like a like a shirt like a work shirt um, mostly cotton definitely feels yeah like a work shirt I don't know what better way to uh, to describe that but the inside feels like the inner lining of a nice and very nice jacket all right, let's get this thing put on real quick and then we'll talk about the jacket. Okay, so I've got it on. I, I've got no shirt on underneath. I just put just me bare in this thing. And I gotta tell you, it's a little awkward, especially if you got short arms, to try and zip this thing up yourself. Um, you can do it, but it is awkward. <laughs> As you can see right now, I'm like, am I getting it? Am I getting it? Here we go. It's a little, it just feels, it feels kind of strange. Um, it is a, it does come up close on the neck. It does. That's why it has that zipper there to kind of give the, uh, to make it feel a little tight. It's, it's a t-shirt. It's like a, it's, you know, it's not long sleeve. It does bunch a little bit right where the, where the edges are. Um, not super long. You can see my white old arms. It's fine. <laughs> not super wrinkly. A little bit, a little bit in the neck area. It's fine. But overall, I actually think this is kind of a cool looking shirt if you wanted to use this with maybe a different jacket or a different overcoat. So I like that, I, you know, I've got something, let me grab it and see how it looks. Okay, so on Amazon, I found this like cardigan thing that I use in like bounding as a replacement for like a Jedi robe. So let's just see, I've never, I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know how it's gonna look. It's just something different. I'm like, what? what's a different way I can kind of use this? You know, that's not bad actually. I kind of like the look of that. It gives a little bit of layer, a little, a little depth. Kind of cool. That's the back, a little hooded. But I'd rather have something long sleeve, I think, with something like this cardigan. It looks better that way. So let's try this jacket out. Now this jacket, this jacket is made of lots of different kinds of material. It does have that same fake leather on the little edges here. Um, but just, I mean, look at this thing. Again, that same very nice lining, which actually does keep cool. I can feel it kind of against my skin and it does like keep you a little bit, a little bit cooler. It might get hot in the long run wearing both this and the jacket. I say might, it definitely will get hot in the long run wearing both. So before I get into the whole jacket thing, I do want to read the blurb off of Shop Disney regarding this shirt. 
Get into character as you prepare for your epic Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser adventure, inspired by the tunic worn by Senator Bail Organa's security aide, with a neck design and color inspired by the original piece at Skywalker Ranch Legacy Archives, this short sleeve top will transform you into the hero of your exciting Star Wars mission. Magic in the details, exclusive to guests with qualifying Star Cruiser res reservation. Uh, it's imitation leather accents around the neck. It's got a high neck that it does. Uh, short sleeves, and it coordinates with the Star Wars Senator Bail Organa Security Aid jacket for adults sold separately. 53% cotton, 29% polyester, 15% viscose, and 3% elastane. I think the viscose and elastane are this fake leather, uh, and it does say it's imported. Now that I've read that, I do want to read the jacket. So the jacket for $149.99, 150 bucks. Let's just get into the details because it's the same description as the shirt. Actually, they mention the Greebly are inspired also by the piece of Skywalker Legacy Archives. All right, it is an ankle length jacket. This thing is long and it does go to my ankles. Uh, four layered collars with imitation leather insets at the shoulder. Exaggerated fold back cuff on each arm has large metal Greebly. Side seam pockets, the first piece with pockets, Coordinates with our Star Wars Senator Bail Organa Security Aid tunic for adults sold separately. 68% viscose, 30% polyester, 2% elastane. The linings, 95% polyester, 5% elastane. Sleeve decoration is metal. Just holding this thing in my arm, I can feel the heft of these things. Just take a look. You hear that? They are metal. They are very metal. They're a very lightweight metal. They're like an aluminum kind of thing. But on the cuffs, yeah, they are... They're legit. They, they look cool. I like them. I like the look of it. And again, I did want to show you guys just kind of close up some of the uh, the fabric and stuff we're talking about. Of course, it does have the the Star Cruiser. There's the Galactic Star Cruiser tags exclusive to this. Now, this one is a men's XL. Notice I got a men's XL. So for me, though, I'm a big boy. Normally, I wear 2XL for shirts, which this shirt is 2XL. For my jackets, I prefer XL because a lot of times 2XL, the arms are too long. And I live in Las Vegas where I rarely need to even wear a jacket anyways. So it's not like I'm trying to close it and bundle up. So typically, I will wear smaller jackets than are for my size. Mostly for the arm reason. So I'm going to get this thing put on here. I can tell this is heavy. It feels like alone it's probably like 4 or 5 pounds. The Most of it is in this the metal arms right here. I mean, I, I'm going to scooch back as far as I can here. You guys can't see how far down it goes. I'm going to have to adjust the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. But this is, it's nice. It, oh, oh, I don't want to bump into the droid again and knock him over. But the jacket itself is pretty nice. I like I like it. I look, take a look at the back here. And it does go all the way down to my ankles. This is a nice, long jacket. Now, one thing I do notice is the weight of these pulls them down. It's not like it'll, even when it's up here, if I turn slightly, it just like kinda, they, they droop down just by default. They want to fall, but just because of how heavy they are. But I do think it looks good. I do actually like the look of this quite a bit. Make sure I've got it all folded correctly. I do feel like, I feel like, like a fancy formal Star Wars character in this thing. I think it looks really good. Did it, you know, and I wasn't going to buy this. I'll be honest. I did not order this on my first order. When I first looked at everything, I was like, okay, Saber Trainer tunic, definitely. Formal tunic, eh, maybe I'll never wear it, but let me try it anyways. I ended up loving the formal tunic. This, I got on a whim. I saw that the, the sizes were starting to sell out on certain things, and I was like, you know what? I want to be able to review it and share it with you guys. So I coughed up the dough to get this thing. And I like it. I, I really like the lining on the inside. It feels like a very nice jacket. That actually makes me feel good about the purchase. But I had one issue. So there are pockets. It mentioned pockets, right? And you put your hand in the pocket, you can feel the liner. It's got pockets on both sides. Both sides, little pockets, the hands go in. This one feels good. I put my right hand in and it goes all the way down. Because my pockets arrived ripped and unsewn or whatever. I don't know what exactly happened here, but they're like halfway, not even sewn properly. It just opens up, it's just, it's not good. Good news is I reached out to Shop Disney and said, hey, my pocket arrived damaged, can I do an exchange? And they made it very easy. They actually uh, sent me a little packing slip, or a, a packing slip and a U, uh, UPS printout, little shipping label. Slap it back on the package, put it in the box and drop it off. And the second they see it gets dropped off and shipped, 
they're gonna send me my replacement. So that is nice. These things are heavy. The cuffs feel good. I like I like the overall look. It's an it's an XL, so it's smaller. Now, so I will feel a little bit of tightness right in here when I try to put together my arms, just because it's a size smaller. But I I can close it. It doesn't have a way to close it. There's no button or clasp or anything. It's supposed to be worn open. I keep getting little loose strings here and there. But man, I do I do like this. I do think I like the little the ruffles in here. The little the different layers. I like that, that faux leather on the side. This is cool looking. This is very cool looking. Now it does run the same problem that a lot of the Star Cruiser merch or specific costumes run where everyone else might be wearing the same thing. Now luckily the Star Cruiser is not going to be super busy because of how exclusive it is. There's only 100 rooms. Who knows how many people on your voyage actually got this. I, I really like this. I like, I like this more than I thought I would. The problem is I don't, like, this means I have to lug this in my luggage across to Florida if I want to bring this. I might just bring the shirt and find some other accessories that work with it because this jacket does feel like it's going to be pretty heavy, especially March, Florida, heat, yikes. I wouldn't want to wear, I, technically you couldn't wear this on Batu because it goes down to your ankles. They say things shouldn't go past your waist if it's like on your back, like a like a coat or a robe or whatever. So this, by their rules, technically would not be allowed, but I do like it. I think it's a really cool look. It's a nice formal Star Wars look. For me, I actually say this one's rad. It's expensive, 150 bucks, 70 bucks for the shirt, 220 plus tax for just this top half of me. The boots I'm wearing, you kind of see them little rain boots maybe. <laughs> there you go, kind of see them rain boots and the pants I'm wearing, those are separate. So. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this. I may end up just returning it. I know there's other people that want it, so I may just end up returning it. I am happy, but they do need to fix it because the, the pocket's ripped. Um, I, I'm probably going to keep this shirt, though. I really like this shirt, and I do really like this jacket. I just know that, realistically, I'm never going to wear this anywhere else but Star Cruiser. So unless someone wants to bring me on their Star Cruiser voyage... Um, it's not going to do me a whole lot of good. <laughs> Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed because next I'm going to be showing you all the costumes that I've put together myself, not using Star Cruiser stuff, just using stuff I found off Amazon, thrift stores, Walmart, Target, stuff like that, just normal everyday clothes that I've kind of found a way to make my own Star Wars-y kind of look that's unique and maybe it'll give you guys some inspiration. So like always... Be the spark, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.